this video we will learn how to use AWM as a dock, change its location. If you remember we installed that at the end of our last video so let's go ahead and jump into that. Alright you may remember in our last video we used Ubuntu Tweak to install AWN, Avant Windows Manager. Avant Window Manager is a dock for Ubuntu. I like to stick it on the bottom, so we're going to delete the bottom panel. Right click it, choose delete, and select delete. That'll clear up that bottom end of the screen. Come back up, go to Applications and Accessories, and click on Avant Windows Manager. You'll notice a small dock appears at the bottom of the screen. We can right click and go to Properties. We can get in here and we can change some settings. We can change its position. We go to the top of the screen, the right side, or the left hand side. I'll put it back on the bottom. You'll notice we have different functions for it. You can choose Always Visible, Panel Mode, which keep the panel active. Pretty much the same thing as always visible. Window dodge, meaning it will hide when a window moves over it. Or Intel hide. Pretty much the same thing as window dodge. And transparency, which means it will just kind of go ghost-like on us when we move a screen over it. Key below means it will always be underneath the window stack that's active at the time. I'll set that back up. Now you can well you can also change the fade transition. I'll leave it at fade. You can change the style. We can go to a 3D which looks more like a Mac. You can go with a curved which kind of gives it a, a nice futuristic look to it. Um, you can go edgy which is kind of a narrow squared off dock floaty which is the same dock as the edgy just it kind of floats instead of being docked against the very edge of the screen you notice it kind of resembles a, a fancy unity bar if you move it to the left hand side or lucido it's a pretty nice looking dock we can also we can scroll up the we can scroll up the button size we can also scroll way down uh, you can type in a value that's comfortable for you that suits your, your tastes. I'm going to leave it on the bottom, leave it at Lucido, fade out. Now we can change the positioning of the dock, left or right, or back in the middle. There's also a check button. We can extend the panel. Now we'll slide our icons one side or the other. Now if you notice, it's kind of a Windowsy looking taste to it. We're going to choose to start AWN automatically. That way it will automatically be in place when we boot up Ubuntu. We click the task manager. We can. There's some options here. We can uh, set up some launchers. This is where you'll drag applets down to the bar. You'll click on the applet header. And you can scroll down. This is a listing of all applets uh, that come included with AWN. You can download more uh, from the internet. You can see there's some handy here if you had a Ubuntu installed on a laptop or a netbook. A battery meters, CPU monitors, things of that nature. I'm going to drag a trash can down because it's always handy to have access to the trash can. Alright, we're going to go ahead and drag some more applets down to our AVN dock. Let's put a screen switcher, show desktop, and a shutdown button. You'll notice if you click down on the bottom part of the AVN settings window, you can actually click the icons and drag them to the place you want them to show up on the test bar or on the dock. We'll add a launcher. If you use the simple launcher, you'll notice that it's going to put a green plus sign down there. You can drag a launcher from the menu or the top task bar or the desktop over that green plus sign drop it on top and it will become that launcher. Uh, just to give a quick demonstration of other applets you can use, here's a weather applet that will give us an updated weather forecast. 
first you have to punch in your location click find it'll locate it um, we measure by Fahrenheit here so we'll set that up looks like there's an error with the weather widget we'll go ahead and see if it'll load up just for tests and there it is there's our forecast if that error comes back we may have to take the weather widget off for the video purposes I'm not going to get into troubleshooting it but you'll notice you can search the applets in the widgets by other categories instead of just looking at all the, the applets in line there I'm going to put a file explorer on there okay we'll close that window to change the desktop background if you're familiar with windows it's the same way you right click on the desktop go to change desktop background you'll notice you can choose one of the included pictures or you can go online to find your own backgrounds you'll notice there's a kind of a limited selection of backgrounds included with Ubuntu I usually like to go out to gnomelook.org it's a pretty handy site there's a lot of themes a lot of a lot of assets for other eye candy for Ubuntu and other Linux distributions on that site uh, notably it's there's a great index of wallpapers on the site as well it looks like our weather applet still giving us a problem let's take care of that right quick let's just get rid of that right click it go to dock preferences click on applets find the weather widget we'll move it back up out of the way there it's gone we shouldn't get that error anymore launch chrome click on wallpaper you can scroll through and find a wallpaper to your liking um, I like to go to most downloaded that'll show what the most popular ones are do be aware some of these wallpapers are not for younger kids, younger people. But I'll scroll through here, find a find a nice, classy-looking wallpaper, uh, something that'll look cool with my AVN dock. Here we go. I think we'll go with this one. Click on download. We'll go ahead and download it. right click save as I'm gonna stick this in my pictures folder I'm gonna create a new directory or a new folder call it wallpaper I like to do that so that way I can keep all my wallpapers in one one directory they're easier to find that way uh, you'll notice if you scroll down it's not added to the to the index of wallpapers yet uh, we'll go ahead and we'll add that you'll notice there it shows up click it and there's our new wallpaper pretty simple we're going to demonstrate our screen switcher right quick just to make sure that that works we've got chrome on one screen we have our trash can on the other and it does okay to change your theme simply right click on the dock click on the theme header click install I'll go to the folder where I keep my themes I'm going to select the Maverito and click apply. And there we go. That's how you change your AWN theme. Okay. Say things go wrong, you completely dislike AWN, or you want to go back to the traditional Ubuntu Classic desktop. How do you get your GNOME panel back? How do you get rid of the AWN dock? It's pretty simple to do actually. We need to right click on the dock. Go to Dock Preferences. We need to uncheck Start AWN Automatically. That way it will not start automatically when we reboot the system. We need to go to Applications, Accessories, and Terminal. We have to enter in three commands here. Let's spread that out. First command will be GCONFTOOL-2 space dash dash recursive dash unset space forward slash apps 
forward slash panel and hit enter. The next command is rm space dash rf space tilde forward slash period g c o n f forward slash apps forward slash panel and hit enter. Third command is p kill space gnome dash panel and hit enter. You'll notice now both panels come back the same just as they were before we got rid of the bottom panel. Of course we didn't do anything to the top panel so it's still there. I did lose my Chrome launcher so I need to right click and go add to panel. Choose application launcher and click forward. Click the internet menu. Click Chromium. Add and close. We'll bump it back up against the Firefox icon. Left click on the Mi bar and see that our status updates are still there as they are. Do be sure to check out our next video. Uh, we will get into a little details about default software that comes included with Ubuntu. Thanks for watching.